on the chin jab where if it didn't work, the elbow goes up, yeah? yeah. Thump his head on the floor. It's the same with this. If you, if you find yourself in the ranger truck and you turn him and he's not quite gone to the floor, watch what happens. Raise the elbow. Boom. Oh, yeah. And what hits the floor first? Head. Back of his head. So it's fine. I won't put the choke on there. But here we move in circles. When the elbow's raised, his head hits the floor first. So that elbow raise is a game-changing benefit yeah. to have. So have a couple more goes where you practice that. Also practice it from something fighting. So you might be palm healing or punching from here. You sneak this in, he's being a bit strong, raise the elbow. And just when you raise that elbow, if I move it here, look at how much closer that head is to the floor. And if I needed to, tie the claw in from here, boom. He's, that is causing major trauma to the neck, major trauma to the head. <coughs> and if you think in a World War II context, sometimes the Hadakajimi, because of the helmets and the gorgets, might be quite hard to pull off. Whereas I can get the neck and get under that helmet and grip this, you're having a really great time. You also notice that as soon as you crush on that neck with this ranger choke, hands will come to your arm. As soon as that happens, you'll probably be trying to pull on this arm. That makes him an entire unit. As soon as he grabs my arm, throwing him is pretty easy because he's consolidated all of his mass onto that one arm. So we'll notice in the World War II combatives, eyes and throats are attacked all the time because the devil makes work for idle hands. As soon as I put anything in your eyeballs or in your throat, your hands stop being a naughty boy looking for naughty boy tools and will do anything like a drowning man wants air to not have his throat crushed through his eyeballs pulled out. Mm. Yeah? He'll want that more than anything, and he'll pull like a madman on that arm. <laughs> yeah? Boom. And that then lets me know he's not grabbing at all. He's not grabbing a weapon, I can deal with him. Yeah. So always bear that in mind that the go-to in World War II combatives is throats and eyes, because it's a tooled environment. And in a tooled environment, if you punch me in the face, I'll take that and I'll draw a knife. You crush on my eyeballs, my first instinctive reaction will be to pull those fingers away from my eyes. And if you crush on my throat, I'll pull to stop you crushing on my throat. And in that golden window, no one is drawing or using those things. Make yep. sense? Yep. So have a couple more goes, but try and build in now that game-changing elbow race.